to my channel so today i'm joined by my best friend lee and he is actually on another video on my channel where he is doing my full face of makeup and let me tell you that is a video on its own and i'll put the link down below because you definitely need to check that out because that was a hot <laughs> mess i'm sorry <laughs> again so lee today we are going to do what we've done on his channel with me asking him five questions and he is going to ask me five we're, questions. We're going to turn the tables and we are going to do <laughs> the dirty on you. <laughs> this should be interesting. So have you actually thought about what you want to ask me? Yeah? Well, I've got one that I have in mind anyway and then I've done the same as you and gone through Pinterest and found, and, and found some hints and <laughs> yeah uh, this is gonna be good okay. okay oh my god i'm so nervous for this because you can ask me anything and i've got to answer you have to answer yes okay okay all right so the first one is one that i just thought of anyway without any help from pinterest or anything yeah so question one when you were little yeah what when you grew up what did you want to be oh easy peasy see that's not that bad so i really was obsessed with like anything motorsport i still love anything motorsport and i really wanted to become the first female formula one driver that would be awesome and i used to go go-karting a lot and race nearly every weekend and i was really really into it and i basically had to decide when i got to 16 do i carry on and fulfill my dream of being a formula one driver or a rally driver or do i be smart and go career wise <laughs> and go study art and design and graphic design at college and i went college way because one i also found out there was already a formula one female driver and that just like destroyed my yeah, hopes and dreams. Yeah, I think there has been some, but they haven't had like a long period yeah, of time. Yeah, you don't, you don't really see like, it doesn't get portrayed on like the media and stuff of like female Formula One drivers. And I think that's really like how you can have Formula One at the moment and nobody is actually uh, I think female in, in the main one. Yeah, but I think in the lower formulas, they're trying to bring females through more yeah, but and in America in IndyCar there have been actual female drivers yeah. that have had more of a career but they're not at the like push stage where they're going to win no but I feel like they need to be more female drivers actually in the main one with like Lewis Hamilton and stuff there should be a female driver yeah. in that I don't understand how that is still male dominated no, there's not even one there's not one like why is there not one in i just don't understand that so with rally driving that's where i've always wanted to be and i now as i'm older i'm like i still would love to do that but i don't I, it's too late so i just like would rather just do it as like experiences well, yeah, and we that's, can go on the experience i'd like to go rally yeah rally anyway. experience is going to be on my channel like me learning to snowboard rally experience <laughs> Everything is going to be on my channel. No, no I can't wait to watch. <laughs> this blood. <laughs> well, it can get you this time. It got me it in the got last you one. last time. It's like hitting me in the head now. Okay, so let's let's look for question two, shall we? There we go. Oh gosh, what is it? Right. What's your favourite quality about your best friend? Oh Lord, have mercy. Uh, um, of course, that you, would be me. Of course, you just had to be like, what's good about me like why are you my best friend because you are the first friend that i made here when i moved to this new area yeah and you have been by my side the whole time and supported me through every aspect of my life and you've been with all the drama <laughs> you come and rescue me when i'm having my mental breakdowns <laughs> and you feed me food to know that's to cheer me up yeah. <laughs> you're just a very loving caring person and i literally couldn't imagine my life without you and you've already told me if I move away, you're moving in with me. I am. I am. <laughs> you're going to move away with me. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. I have to. So, you know, so, that, yeah. just, I I'm can't. just going to be somewhere. 
I can't um, imagine like going on with life of like out you. Like we no. fell a, we fell apart for like a little bit, a like little a bit. like a year or something, or like not even a year really. Right. Like can't we would a year, message, maybe. we would message, but we weren't here as strong. And there. But then now I feel like we've come back stronger. Yeah. Than we like, were. Like I don't think I could go a day or at least a week without. No, we like call each other every day. Yeah, for hours. Yeah, some, sometimes we're just like, ah, oh, two hours have gone by. And I, like... Sometimes I don't need an alarm. <laughs> I, don't I wake you up and like, get out of bed. I don't have to do a school run, but yeah. I have to be awake. Yeah, you have to be awake. <laughs> so when I finish school run and I come and like, I'll call you up and be like, Lee, I thought about video content or like, oh my God, look what happened. Or like, guess who's messaged me? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, you, you yeah. hear it all. <laughs> I, do, I do, I do, I do, I, yeah. You have your opinions on a lot of stuff. Yeah, but they are my opinions. <laughs> they are the opinions of myself and they are not shared by YouTube or the wider community. <laughs> right. Okay, we've had, we've had enough about how good a best friend I am. And now we're going to move on to question three, which is a little bit more deeper. Okay. okay, but I just like thought that maybe we should ask this because it would be interesting. Mm -hmm. So, question three is: Yeah, if you had one day left to live, what would you do? Oh my god, I don't even know. But isn't that a good question, though? I think I would just get all my friends and family all in one place and just like have so many like fun memories, like make some big festival party or something. Yeah. So we all could just be together and I could be with like everyone that I love and everything. Because then like, yeah, sometimes when that happens, you're not aware of it. So if you're aware of it and taking it everyone, all in and stuff and just like, having a blast and everything yeah because family is the most important thing. yeah and i love taking pictures anyway so i would probably like put loads of the pictures that i've put up like that i've taken throughout the whole years like of knowing people yeah. just like posted everywhere so everyone could be like oh my gosh like do you remember this situation oh, look, were, at, look at us when we were in school when you were younger because I literally took a camera to school every single day. And Did you? Yeah, like on my own. Well, the, the disposable ones? Or no. Right? Like, you know when, like, digital cameras first became, like, really oh, popular? Wow. Yeah. yeah. I had one, and I took it to school every single day. I think through all of year 10 and all of year 11. So, like, my whole, like, what, years... What, were you just taking pictures? Yeah. Like, on lunch times and stuff, and, like, playtime, we'd just take pictures... So I have like all of year 10, all of year 11 documented on my old laptop. So I can literally wow. look and I've got like videos and it's just like... Still there? Yeah. Wow. Wow. I don't ever, I haven't thrown away that laptop because I want to try and get everything off it and then like actually like I mean there are them. There are photos of me at school, but I kind of try and hide those. <laughs> but I actually, <laughs> I love taking pictures. Like whenever I go on holiday and stuff, I'm always the one taking pictures of people. So they always have holiday photos and nothing of me because no one ever takes pictures yeah. of me. But they always have pictures. Cause I'm like, I love looking back at things and just remembering it as I like. Having memories. Yeah. Is, yeah. Like people that don't like taking pictures or like, oh, you always get your phone out. It's like, no, actually I'm just doing this so I can remember. Yeah. Like with Roman, when he was a baby, I made like a tin of like everybody's picture like in the family yeah so he can like pull them out and play like i laminated them and everything so oh, they're like playing cards yeah, but yeah. people's pictures so he can learn their faces like really quickly or we could talk about like that's nanny that's granddad that's mommy Season four. Mm -hmm. when how old were you when you had your first kiss Right. <laughs> Bearing in mind, growing up, like when I was like, before I was a teenager, yeah, I was a tomboy, <laughs> and I mean your tomboy. I was a tomboy to the point that, like, I literally wore 
the same pair of tracksuit bottoms that just get, kept getting washed. <laughs> tracksuit bottoms? Yeah, tracksuit bottoms. Like, they were white tracksuit bottoms and they had stripe down the side. I love them tracksuit bottoms. But one day, they mysteriously vanished. I'm, yeah. I'm happy about that. My mum threw them away because she hated them. <laughs> And they had holes in the knees. That's how much I wore them. I mean, I wore them to the like. Raw. And I was just like, throw a top on. And even though I've got my hair back today. Yeah. Like, that's because it was just like, I just couldn't be over today. But like, <laughs> I would literally brush it back. And my hair was, my hair isn't actually curly. So I'd just brush it back in a bun and then be like. Yeah. Done. So I was a tomboy. Boys grossed me out. I didn't like boys. <laughs> I didn't want to go near boys. I was like, ugh. Cooties, you got cooties. <laughs> so I was like, no, nope, no thank you, stay away. Then I went to a girls' school. Yeah, kind of makes it difficult then. That's the worst experience ever. I never do that to a daughter. Um, <laughs> I ended up being like, I was a tomboy for like a good couple of years still, and then I just like went, went a bit more girly. Yeah. Started doing my makeup, mm. started doing my hair, and then I I think I had my first boyfriend at the age of like 14. Okay, that's all right. I met him at swimming. You wouldn't do that now in this day and age. It's swipe, swipe, no, swipe, Not swipe. at 14 though. <laughs> No, but that? I mean like this day and age, we wouldn't go out and be going swimming and get chatted up at the swimming pool, would we? No. Well, it's good. like, oh no, I'm going to sit on my couch Sofa. in my PJs and swipe. I, I, I've just got, swipe, nothing, swipe. I've got nothing to do now. And, uh, TV's finished, so we'll just have to you quick don't flick meet... through. Right there, plant. You don't meet <laughs> people anymore in person. No one approaches people. So, yeah. There is a kind of a weird um, stigma to actually approaching a person now, isn't there? Yeah, just like taboo, you don't uh, do it. And you kind of get that look of like, why are you this coming, is foreign. Why, you why, why are you coming towards me? Why are you me? approaching me? Yeah. Why are you talking to me? But it's so annoying. But I would rather have someone approach me than like be on dating apps to be fair. Yeah. But yeah, so 14 was when I had my first boyfriend and my first kiss. And yeah. Okay. I don't talk to him anymore because he got a bit weird and stalkerish. So I had to end it. I can't even remember the. No, I wouldn't even. Like, I mean, like proper stalkerish. Like, was outside my. We didn't even live in the same town. And he was outside my school when what? I finished school. Yeah. What? And I'd be like, why are you not at school? Why are you at my school? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good luck to whoever you're with now. But the interesting thing is, we both have children that were due the same due date. Like, our first children That's... were both due the same due date. Ninth of, um, ninth of June, we both had... Like babies due the same day. Wow. Like our first babies. That's weird, isn't it? It is weird. It's freaky. I think that's weird. Same year, the same due to everything. And I was like, what the hell? Were, were you actually, were they actually, but you don't know? What, were they born on the due date? Yeah. No. But they, I think they're like a couple of days apart. That's still a bit freaky. Roman's older. Okay. No, Roman's younger because Roman was 10 days overdue. Really? Isn't it like two weeks and then they have to? Uh, I was meant no, to. I was meant to get in. Now. I was meant to get induced a day after he was born. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So it was like, ah, no, mum, I'll come out now. Yeah, I've made you wait long enough. <laughs> yeah, in summer as well. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well. Hot. That's that's not really his fault. Hot. But mm. yeah. Next yeah. question and the final. The question. final question. Woohoo! The final question. I feel that because we've discussed this a little bit today, I'm going to ask you on camera and oh. and see and see what you say on camera. So, and because I think earlier today you also got a text message. If you were to win the lottery, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What what would you spend your money on first? First, how much money are we talking? <laughs> Because I've won a lottery before, £10 and I bought a Barbie doll. Well, well okay, like a significant <laughs> amount. Like, say you won, let's not go silly, just like, up to £5 million. Let's not go silly, just up 
for five well, million. Well, no, okay then, okay then. No, we'll do five million because I can answer that very, very nicely. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what I would do if I won five million pounds <laughs> would be clear all my, like, bills like that. I've got like my car any store cards anything I'll clear all of that off then I'll be straight away to the estate agent and be like I want to spend some money <laughs> let me see the properties mate top let tier me see, like top tier darling top <laughs> tier let me see those properties with the heady pad of JP <laughs> I couldn't bothered like no, just a nice house, like with a nice garden and a little, maybe a little bit of land, yeah. stuff and quad bike. Uh, <laughs> keep that in the toy. Keep, keep that in the toy boy. In the toy boy. In the toy boy. <laughs> you want a toy boy? Yeah, dude. That's me out then. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want a toy boy. Definitely not. Cougar. Even even though like, is like. <laughs> That's a different subject, right there. Coming back. <laughs> With another story? Yeah, another story type. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I would literally just like nice, nice three, four bedroom house with like nice garden, parking, yeah, yeah. and a little bit of land. And Wheelchair then, accessible. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a built in lift, darling, for you. Oh. Built in lift. Yes. <laughs> um, and then I would like to obviously like pay back my parents and my friends, like Lee. He's like been there for me through everything. I just want to like treat people. Okay. Okay, neighbour. Uh, right. <laughs> They're like, what about me? Just, yeah, like the plumbing's gone wrong upstairs. Do you fix it? <laughs> so yeah, I'll do that. And then I'll invest money as well. So maybe buy like other properties and like rent them out and invest them. Yeah. And like put the rest in like savings. So obviously like for Roman when he's older in case like anything I mean, I mean <laughs> why not? It's the delivery driver going, oh. they put the wrong address. address. He's just going backwards and forwards. <laughs> what a weirdo. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> I... Yeah, like, I just want to, like, give back to people and stuff and just, like, yeah. Save. Save money, invest, and I'll give obviously like the Roman situation. Like, if anything, God forbid, happens to me, and then he's like got money for when he should be set for that. He should be set, and everything. I mean, I know like nowadays with the Euro millions and stuff, and the amount of money you can win in one go, like winning the normal lottery and a couple of million people aren't so excited about it anymore because they say like a million pounds or however much doesn't go very far. Mate, as long but, as that buys hello, you a house. Seven figures. If that buys me a house where I don't have to like pay a mortgage on. Yeah, and you just have to pay bills. Happy days. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I was like, this is what we were saying earlier about like um, working and stuff. I don't know if I would stop work just because I don't want to like, to have but nothing I, to do. But like I said to you, I think you'd be the person that would still work, but instead of working for somebody, you would be the person that people work for. But that's the thing, a lot of my like career, I've actually always been the one who's worked at home and hasn't actually worked for somebody. Yeah, uh, yeah but in the regards of what I meant was in the job that you are everything. now. Yeah. Because the ones when you've been self-employed have been a different... A, Venture a, a, a different avenue to where you currently are going. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I probably would take like a good year off work and then just travel. Deserve it. Like literally, could you imagine like the whole of summer holidays just being in different countries every single day? Wow. What was he like not a, a different somebody, country every so day? Somebody who doesn't like flying would soon get over it. My Thailand trip, I did six flights. So does that answer all of your <coughs> I, questions? I, I mean, you've answered them very openly and honestly and I hope I wasn't too... Um, <laughs> Intrusive. No, and I thought you was gonna go worse to be fair. If, but if your dad sees the the first kiss question, we're still okay. Well, I mean, you're. He okay. knows about that person. He invited that person round to stay at his house. Okay. 
You invited the stalker And there's sto there's yeah, you didn't know he was a stalker then. <laughs> there's stories about him being drunk on non-alcoholic beer at my sister's party. Yes. You know it's non-alcoholic beer, yeah. right? And you're drunk. And then as soon as Placebo we said that effect. as soon as we said that, he was sober as hell. And we were just like, wow. That's a placebo effect, that is. I've never really witnessed that before. He literally was walking into doors. I was like on the no. floor laughing, yeah, in front of everybody. <laughs> but yeah. Maybe that could be another story time of like ex disasters we can do. I, I mean, I mean, I've got some. I've got some uh, juicy bits. Tune back in. This yeah. is not my channel. You could end it. Yeah, it's my channel. Uh. Stay in your lane. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. What do you do, Lee? You like, like and it, you subscribe. And you subscribe down below. To both of us. Yeah, I'll put Lee's details in the description box. And, ooh, signing off. Yeah. <laughs> so until next time, everyone. Bye. Awesome. I'm hungry. <laughs>